It is a classic quadratic word problem. The product of two consecutive odd integers is 143. Determine all of the possible combinations of numbers that fit the bill. You're going to have to declare some variables. Let the two odd integers be. Now, I'm going to argue you should make the first one x, and the next odd integer is two more than that. If you wonder how I knew that, if you're listing odd numbers for yourself, you got one, three, five, seven, nine. How do you know what comes next? Well, you're adding two every time. So if your first integer is x, the next odd one is x plus two. Now, the product of them is 143. Here's the quadratic equation part. The first integer times the second integer is 143. Your job is to solve this equation. Now, that's going to be, I don't know, easier or tougher said than done. I think you should get rid of these brackets, multiply everything out and make one side zero. Quadratic equations, and I know this is going to be quadratic because I've got an x times an x, are always easier to solve when one side equals zero. So multiply, multiply. I'm going to distribute the x through the brackets. I get x squared plus 2x there. And just because I'm flexing, I'm going to move the 143 to the other side at the same time. There we go, I got x squared plus 2x minus 143 is zero. Now, you can solve this by either factoring or completing the square, if you know what that is, or quadratic formula. I happen to know that this one factors. We're looking for two numbers that multiply something times something else gives negative 143. And those same two numbers will add to give us positive two. Now I know what those numbers are. It's positive 13 and negative 11. Positive 13 plus negative 11 is 13 minus 11, which is positive two. It all works out. Let me just verify that on my calculator. 13 times 11 is 143. Beautiful. Once you've found your magic numbers, you can plug them straight in to the factored form. If you know the numbers are positive 13 and minus 11, and there's no coefficient on x squared, there's a shortcut to get to this version of the factored form. Now we have this factor times this factor equals zero. That means, like if two numbers multiply to make zero, then either x plus 13 equals 0, or x minus 11 equals 0. It's your job to solve for x in both of these cases. Here, something plus 13 is 0. You can move the 13 to the other side. 0 minus 13. So I get negative 13 out of that. Here, I could move the minus 11 to the other side. It becomes plus 11 x is 11. Oh, okay, great. Now, I haven't truly solved yet because we want to know what the two odd integers are. The integers could be... Now, option one is that the first integer is negative 13, and the next one is whatever that is plus 2. Adding 2 to that gives me negative 11. Cool. Now, I also got the possibility that x is 11. And then the next number would be x plus 2. I have to add 2 to that, and I get 13. Is it true that negative 13 and negative 11 are consecutive odd integers? Yes. That comes right after that one. And is their product 143? Yes, negative 13 times negative 11 
the negatives will cancel to give me positive 143. Similarly, 11 and 13 are consecutive odd integers, and 11 times 13 is 143. I'm just going to put the therefore, therefore the integers could be negative 13 and negative 11, or it could be positive 11 and positive 13. We weren't given enough information to know the difference, and it's not our job to. It said all possible solutions. Nice. I love quadratic equations, and so will you. Best of luck.